Hi guys, sorry that's on here. I'm back and I've got another deck to open up and it is, it's the Dulac, Edmund Dulac Tarot. This is one that has, um, I don't know if it's out yet or if this, or just came out. Um, they did release it to me as a retailer, um, but I only ordered the one just to, to look at. Um, because like I said before, I am not going to be doing my festival this year, so I just ordered for myself this time around. Anyways, and they were offering some shipping deals, so I decided to go ahead and do it. So this is a Los Scarabio. So it's your flimsy tuck box, you know, average. This is definitely um, Edmund Dulac, I believe, is a, he could be a pre-Raphaelite, I'm not positive. Um, artist many many years ago and his artwork has been drawn together into this deck which so it, it kind of falls into the same category as the <laughs> why can I never remember these names when I want to um, <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> you know who I'm thinking of. Anyways, it'll come up. I'll remember it as, as we go on here. Anyways, so this is Edmund Dulac Tarot. Um, that's a cover card. Ooh. Dulac, little white book. Let's take a look at the little white book. for This deck was born of extraordinary art, artistry of Master Edmund Dulac. Born in the Tolos, France, in October 1882. English citizenship in February 1912. He passed away in Toulouse in May 25th, 1953. As considered one of the most famous and important illustrators of Anglo Saxon of the Anglo Saxon word world, particularly the golden of the age of illustration that went to the end of the 19th century to the beginning of the 20th century. So he's not necessarily pre-Raphaelite, he's just after. It was more the illustrator's time. Um, probably children's books, those type of things. Um, uh, the deck is both homage to the great artist to work um, for reading, the Tarot du Lac art becomes medium for traditional meanings. The arcana resonate with the intuition of the reader and querent. So, nothing, nothing spectacular there. Um, otherwise, typical little white book. But yeah, so it's definitely um, um, pre-existing artwork. And yes, it's definitely the children's book illustration, just looking at the full card alone. Um, John Bauer, that's it. Told you I'd remember it. <laughs> John Bauer. So, um, we'll see if I enjoy this as much. I love the John Bauer, I really, really do. Um, not sure about the full card. The Magician card is beautiful and it works beautifully. Um, the Empress, absolutely gorgeous. Oh wait, that's not the Empress. That would be the Priestess, sorry. This is the Empress. No titles on this. It's just Roman numerals, top and bottom. At least, yeah. Oh yeah, there's no titles on any of them. So you do need to know your cards um, for this. We got the Emperor. You know, Emperor is that delegating of tasks and structure and creating things. Notice how all the people, women are all the people around him are all women. And he also seems very bored with them, which is interesting. Kind of gives it another take. This would be the Hierophant, the Priestess. Priest, I should say, not priestess. Um, the 
lovers. Gorgeous. I can do this. So, at least so far with the Major Arcana, I can do this. The Chariot. We've got the Wagon. <clears throat> Strength. She's got a Leopard. Beautiful. This one could have possibly doubled for the Hierophant also, but it's gorgeous. I like it. Um, I need to look at something here. Do I have these off a little bit? Let me take a quick look here in my head. Something's not syncing up. Let me take a quick peek. Okay. So, I guess that would be the Hermit. So that makes sense now. That one's the Hermit. My numbers are not great in my head. Um, so yeah, and the spinning is the wheel. So that makes sense now too. Um, this one's justice and it's, it's not the same. I don't know. I don't know if I get justice out of this. Let me take a quick peek in here and just see if justice is, if they, they at least title, if they, I hope they title it, the, give you the, the title of the artwork. That would be really, really, really nice. Justice floats in the wind, her eyes close, avoid desire, finding, delivering, and making decisions. No, that's justice. No, that's justice. Hmm. Yeah, that one's a little bit hard to pull. A little bit hard to pull into the, the traditional um, meanings when you refer specifically to the Waitswit Smith imagery. Um, all right, so. Interesting. Um, so, this would be the Hanged Man. Hanging woman. It looks like the Little Mermaid. Something from the Little Mermaid, probably. Who's it's and what's it's galore? Interesting. Um, so the death card. I don't know if this is from. I, I, I doubt it, but it reminds me of Sleeping Beauty. But you've got all these mourners around her, so I don't think so. Um. And this would be the star. The only thing that really tells you that is the 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 two containers, the two vessels being used. Um. This one would be. Wait, that's not right. Am I out of order here? I'm out of order. It's out of order. Um, death. Temperance. Oh, sorry, take that back. The Vessels of Temperance. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong reference. The devil, I was behind. Okay, that makes sense now. The tower. Ooh. That looks like the towers of Notre Dame, which is really interesting considering what happened this last year. Um, now we have the star card. And that makes sense. She's the night sky. She is the night sky. The stars. Um, the moon. 
very nice, I like that. The sun. I might have to take my gold paint pen and actually write on the card just so that I can have a quicker reference and not have to dig. Um, I don't read as often as I used to lately and I, you don't use it, you lose it, I'll tell you. That's just the way it is. Um, <laughs> judgment. I'm trying to pick to figure out what this judgment card is. I guess it looks like it's it's really dark. It could be the roads between the two worlds there. It's hard to tell. Let's see what this is. Beyond the confines of the sky, men and women await their sentence. Hands towards the road. Roads and new lives. It's very dark, it's hard to see. There are hands up here in the sky and there's that road running through so they're waiting their sentence to move on or not move on. Sorry, I'm getting a glare here. The light's changed in this room. Um, and then we've got the world card. Gorgeous. So, Ace of Cups, you basically got a number and the image of a cup at the bottom and they're all done the same on that. So you got a sailboat for Ace of Cups or a ship. They're definitely gearing towards the water element in this. So you got two of cups, three of cups, four. Let me see if I can get the glare off of this a little bit. No, nope, that didn't help a whole lot. Six of Cups, which I like this because it is definitely referring to that memory, remembering where you came from and the and the youth, where where you started from. You know, when you're, as you get older, we tend to lose touch with our beginnings. Um, seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, and Seven of Cups is usually that all those choices. This looks like it's from Aladdin, and I would say it has more to do with how many wishes you have. <laughs> um, Eight of Cups is the boat taking you away, taking you to safety. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Knight of Cups, drinking and lecturing, <laughs> not exactly the pleasant side of, actually that's Paige, wouldn't that be Paige? Yeah, that would be Paige, so this would be Knight. Queen. I think I get more out of the John Bauer than this one, but it's very nice. It's also very similar to the Arthur Rackham. Those three artists are definitely from that same illustrative period. Um, you, it might even be the same period as Pamela Coleman Smith. Um, I'd have to look back on my, my history on that. Um, illustrators were big in that time period. We're on we're on coins. That was three of coins. Fark and the princess and the pea. <laughs> Five of coins. Ten of 
It's interesting that it's got, oh, I see it now. There's a ghostly winter figure blowing down upon this household and the church in the background. Weepy. Um, okay, six of coins. Very nice. I can read with this. It's a little bit more diggy. I have to dig for things a little bit more. But um, I like it. it. From what I can see, what I'm going to have to do is just the major arcana. I'm going to probably go ahead and put a quick title on each one just so that I don't have to fish through my brain at all. I can quick, quick reference it really quick. Um, ten of coins. Page of coins. It's got messages for her. Knight of coins. Ooh, he looks formidable. Queen of coins. She looks lonely. King of coins. Interesting. Um, so let's look at Ace of Wands, Cinderella ish, Two of Wands, Three of Wands. I think these definitely come from fairy tale books because I, I can pick out specific ones like Cinderella and um, Princess and the Pea, um, probably um, Aladdin. That one's probably an Aladdin one. Um, this one I'm not sure of. It's four of wands. Um, five of wands. They definitely, at that time, were very connected to the cultures where the fairy tales come from, and they are not Disney. So I think that's what makes them so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Because you, you do get a cultural feel for um, the regions that these fairy tales came from and the time period, and uh, I do like that. A lot. This one's eight of wands. Yeah, very ethereal. Nine of wands. Maybe Beauty and the Beast on that one. Ten of wands. The burdens we carry. Page of wands. Not sure on that one. Little Mermaid's been in here. We've seen that. Um, Knight of Wands. This is interesting because we got female characters here. Can't tell where that came from. Can't tell what they're walking up against. If that's a tent or an egg. Or what? <laughs> there's the queen. And there's the king. Ooh. Ace of Swords. We've got that eagle woman. Lilith. It, was, it would be the first thing that popped into my mind there. So I don't know if that is or not. Um, let's just take a look. Ace of Swords. Or a Fury. Swords, Ace, Winged Monster. That's all it says. It would be nice to know the titles and what they came from. That would be really, really, really nice. This one reminds me of Ophelia. Um, three of Swords. I'm not sure what that one would be from, but it's gorgeous. I get the point. Four of 
more absorbs. That one might be more Sleeping Beauty. The other ones are a little bit, they look a little bit more dead. That one doesn't look quite so dead. Um, Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Swords. Nine. It's a very old person or a very skeletal type person walking over the emperor. Don't know what that comes from. Ten. Maybe Arabian Nights. I don't know. A lot of Asian influence here also. Um, this one's Page of Swords. So he's kind of a scribe writing things down. Um, the Knight of Swords. This is interesting. That would make an incredible death card. And Queen. A lot of Persian influences here as well. And King. <laughs> he looks like a jolly old guy. Anyways, so that is the Duloc Tarot. Definitely has the feel and flavor of um, the other little well, Scarabio deck, um, the other couple of Audrey Rackham and um, John Bauer. So. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, I really like it. I don't know how well it's going to read. It'll be interesting to play with. I like the John Bauer because everything feels on the liminal and in the verge of fairy. Whereas this one's definitely fairy tale-ish. Almost a little bit more like... The ring cycle, or like I said, Arthur Rackham does does that. Um, but it is a beautiful deck, I have to admit. I do wish the book gave the title of um, each card, you know, the art, what it went, at least what fairy tale it went to would be nice. That would have been great. Um, it's a beautiful close up of that card. Gorgeous. This would be a fun one to make because it's mass market be a fun one to have a box made for that you can incorporate that artwork into it and still have a nice box to, to tuck it away in um, because I'm not sure it would be one that I will use on a regular basis. Um, it may end up just sitting in my collection unless I decide I want to get rid of it. But otherwise, those are the, the that's, that's the Duloc after beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, I've got a few other ones on order and I got a bunch of other things in. Like I said, but they're older decks. They've been around. People have seen them a hundred million times, so I'm probably not going to review those. So, or not necessarily review them, but walk through them or um, first impression them. So, um, anyways, that was that was fun. I haven't done this in a while, and it's good to see you guys. And I'll be back with another one. I'll see you.